is very sweaty. That's a really tough question. <laughs> sorry? Tough question. Oh. It's very sweaty. Is it sweaty? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, well, it, it was just the, you know, the, maybe, um, never mind. That was the first stupid answer that I had. I'm not gonna go there. Uh, welcome to the stage. So happy to have you here, guys. Thanks for having us. Uh, it's really nice to have you here in Rotterdam. Is that your first time in Rotterdam? Yes. First time. What, do you like Rotterdam? What an amazing city. Are there people from Rotterdam here? Woo! One person. That's One person. It. Two. It's terrible. It's very <laughs> Did you guys have time to explore at all? Will you stay over after the um, yeah, convention? Yeah, I went to yesterday, you have a Primark in Rotterdam, thank hey, you. Primani. Yeah, Primani. <laughs> the best store in Europe, on the earth. Yeah. I love the ones collection. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, what about you, Jordan? Did you have time to explore Rotterdam a bit? Um, I landed quite late yesterday, so we haven't had a chance, but hopefully we'll get some dinner tonight and get, you know, potentially drunk in some of the bars. Yes. Yeah. Get yeah. kicked out, potentially. Well, that's a great plan. That's so a good that's plan. Good. I like that. Yeah. 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 You're not wasting time and enjoying the culture of Rotterdam. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, the Vikings have a beautiful fan base. I think the fans of the Vikings are one of the best fan bases that there are. Uh, did you ever have a chance to explore the fan art connected to the show? Did you ever have a chance to see the drawings, the paintings, the uh, side stories that the fan, uh, fans make up? Uh, and if you did, can you share it with us? I have seen a lot of fan art tattooed about people, uh, which is amazing. I, I always find I can bear, barely look at myself in the mirror sometimes. The fact that people have got my face tattooed on them Good. is... They've got them on you. Yeah. Is, put you on them. Yeah. Wow. That is quite amazing. I mean, incredible drawings, but yeah, I, I'm still in shock that someone would love the character so much. It's obviously extremely flattering, uh, and people are just so talented. I wish I could draw, and I can't. I actually have, I don't know if Casey is in the audience. Are you in the audience, Casey? Casey? No. She's asked me to draw a picture to get tattooed on her today. So I'm having some serious nerves. What kind of picture, like? I don't know, but I, I'm gonna... Self-portrait. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be cute if that's what she wants. Well, you can always go the like Phoebe from Friends style and throw a, a dot. A dot. Yeah, I it's think like a bird be from far, far away. That might be it. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, that's the best choice. <laughs> that might be the only option. <laughs> what about you, Jefferson? Did you see any good fan so, art? Of myself? Or anything from the show? Yeah, because someone once I had a shark beat and I drew a sort of crude illustration of her arm. That's as good as I got. You didn't get a, a... I didn't get a full tattoo. You never know. Three seasons, you don't get a full tattoo. Yeah, but maybe it's there somewhere, you know? Yeah, maybe. Well, I've seen some amazing stuff. Yeah. There's what, 17 episodes, something like that? Maybe. Yeah. yeah, it felt like that. Felt Did like, you leave like in season 3? I thought you left in season 2. Uh, no, I know, I didn't much with presents. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just can't remember. Yeah. No, 3, season 3. And, and George, I, think I have a little note. For you, it's 63 episodes. 63? Wow. That is... I never knew that. That is a lot. That's amazing. Yeah, that is a lot. Is there anything from the set that you learned about yourself or the art of, of acting or surviving difficult physical conditions? Is there anything that you, you, you took from the set? Yeah, a lot. I mean, I started the show very young. I think I was 19, 18 when I got the job, 19 when I started shooting. Um, and so I really had no experience of life. Uh, before the show. I grew up on the show. It was effectively my university, my drama school. Um, Playground. Sex education. <laughs> <laughs> my is in the audience, thank you. Um, no, I mean, I learned a lot on the show and I think I really grew up alongside my character. Um, you know, I think in terms of the grueling um, days and weather conditions, it sounds extremely spoiled to talk about it now on the other side. If I was given a chance to be back on the set, obviously I would be. But at the end of a long shoot of like six years, I, I was drained, it was exhausting, it was tiring. We shot at the end for 11 months of a year. So if you're working every day, 
like that, it, it takes a toll on you. So I think I was very strong then. If I think back now, if I could do the 11 months now, I don't know if I could. Um, but it was amazing, and I think I learned a lot about myself as an actor. And I think having my dad write the show meant that I had a lot of people that doubted me. Um, and I like to think that I proved a lot of people wrong, uh, and I worked very hard to do that. So I'm, I'm very proud of, of that accomplishment. Well done. Thank you for sharing that with us as well. And uh, for you, Jefferson, anything that you learned from those short 17 episodes? Yeah, I think if you put sort of 10 guys and give them money together in Ireland for 10 months and give them swords, bad things would happen. It's fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> we did the camaraderie. Shooting that show was very sort of rooty. We were sitting in the mud. You know, a lot of battles weren't terribly rehearsed. It was quite dangerous, but it was a real bond between the actors. Yeah. Beautiful. Did you have to uh, sign disclaimer? We should have signed this thing. It's very dangerous. But um, so with, on all of the panels this, uh, today, I don't know if it's something in the air, something in the wa water, but what we discovered, uh, we were talking about the bonds that were created on the set, and that's how, how it translated to the show, and how it translated on the screen for us to watch, and what makes those shows special, and I think that's so visible in Vikings, that the bonds that you guys created yeah. are so crucial, and we can, we can feel it, we can, the, this is the authenticity that we can, we can see. Is there still people that you hang out with, hang out with, or you have the ball, or you spend Christmas together after the show? Yeah, I, yeah. I lived with Ragnar for like two years during COVID, and we killed each other. But um, I think that bond was because a show like that started from nothing. Yeah. You know, so there was no ego, there was no room for ego as well. And being an idol in particular, it's, they're very grounded people, so you can't kind of walk around me. Oh, I'm not so with this. It was like, Everybody was on a level playing field. Like, There's no stars in the yeah, show. Yeah, there's no stars. But for me. You're the biggest star. Yeah. <laughs> 63 episodes. Yeah, well, 17. That's when you're the same. 17 is a sweet spot. I'm the same. It's sweet spot. I won, technically. Okay, it's so good to know you. Now I feel bad for giving you the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 17 Sorry. sounds terrible. I'm not bad. Yeah, 63. 63. Not to run it in. It's all gone. I can see there's a clown that wants to uh, answer, uh, ask a question, so let's check it out. Hi guys, um, my question is, if you could be each other's characters in Vikings, what would you do? Oh. Swapsies, yes? That's if true. I was Torvi, I would ask Torsten out on a date. Oh. Down to the local ale place. <laughs> for a nice glass of beer and a kiss. Oh. I have to be really honest. I didn't watch those episodes, did you? Watch <laughs> any of your episodes. I'm sure you were phenomenal. I really did. I was did. very good. You missed the good, missed the good bit, the first three. Yeah, like, after that. up, down, and down. Yeah. When I joined. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually, I can't remember any, anything you did. Okay, so yeah, I didn't do too much, but, I can't um, yeah. Did you watch any of my work, to be honest? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's some dates. Yeah. We did scenes together. You didn't remember that until my fiance <laughs> talked to you. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing dirty laundry. Yeah. 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 Sorry, guys. Sorry, Sorry, yeah. It's just crazy. Tough question. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so would much. You, would you do something? Sorry. Would you do something different as the characters? Good evening. Good evening. Oh, she's okay. finished. It's her. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, what was she question? Would you do something different uh, if you were playing those characters? I don't know. If I was Torfin, I uh, would just be the Bennett. Because she is. Yeah, she and Torfin is iconic, so... I, that's good, iconic. Iconic is good, yes. Okay. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank you. Next question, please. Sorry for interrupting before. Sorry, yeah, didn't catch that. No. Hello. Um, good evening. Uh, just out of curiosity, um, question for both of you. What was your favorite uh, moment on screen and maybe off off screen? Which, whoever you, yeah, favorite scene. Favorite moment off screen or on screen? Yeah. Okay. Moments. <clears throat> it's a good one. I think maybe it's gone around a lot. There was one day during a battle where Travis Fimmel, who played Ragnar, got a fake finger and then started screaming that his finger had been chopped off and he had fake blood. And 
the shoot starts or the camera starts, everybody's screaming and panicking and he was rolling around and his fingers come off. So that was a silly joke, but it was pretty funny. That was sort of on and off screen, I guess. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good joke. Um, I think some of my best memories are as the show was coming to an end. It's a very surreal feeling to know that a job, a regular job, like you go into a nine to five, was ending in a matter of two weeks, and after that you had like a permanent holiday. So it was kind of a surreal like high that we knew that the work was coming to an end, but also was obviously upsetting um, and sad to, you know, to process. So the last two weeks were just an absolute blur, like we worked on night shoots the whole time. And I think some of those scenes were just, we were in hysterics most of the time. We didn't have a lot of dialogue, um, but it was just all together. It was like a lot of camaraderie, but it was like a lot of emotion. Like there was a lot of tears, a lot of laughing. I think we were just hysterical and didn't really want it to come to an end. Um, so the last week for me has a lot of like good memories of us all being on set, on set and being told off by directors for not concentrating. We seemed to think it didn't really matter because the show was almost finished. Um, I think when I watched it back, I kind of thought I probably wasn't concentrating enough in some of those scenes, but um, I think that's the result of being on a show for many years and being like overly tired. But yeah, the last couple of weeks have uh, kind of good memories. And, yeah, for me. The battles, the battles were great. You'd do a battle, we'd rehearse it, and then say action, and then you'd hear someone screaming, Come, stop, stop, you idiots! And like, people would just continue fighting. <laughs> All these Irish extras, like a hundred of them, would be like, rolling in the mud, people breaking their arms. It was phenomenal. That sounds fun. It's great. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thanks you. very much. Next question, please. What's your favorite food? <laughs> So far, the McDonald's was very good here. I had a really good McDonald's yesterday. I think it's called a cheeseburger. Oh, yeah. It was good. What it, what happened? We really just got here yesterday. Well, I did. Um, have you ever tried to stroke waffle? No, it sounds terrifying. What is no, it? it's the little waffly thing. It's the only waffly thing. Oh, like a biscuit. You have to try one. Have There's one in my room on my bed. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, the waffles are really nice. So you can put them on top of the hot coffee or tea and yeah. the caramel inside melts Ooh. a little bit. Ooh. Yes, very good. Go ahead. Hi. Hello. So my question is for Jefferson. I'm sorry, Georgia. It's okay, I forgive you. That's the situation. icon. Let's start with the icon. Oh, whatever. So, um, I think Georgia's that's quite iconic. Good, like, yeah. from build to finish. Mm. Did you know it was going to happen? Did you have any inputs? I had a lot of input in my dad, yeah. In the process of like... Yeah, there was, yeah, I think there was a lot of talk. After on the show, there was a producer called Keith Thompson. The Angel of Death. The Angel of Death, we used to be called it, because he would... If you saw the producer come to set, and he called you up and said, Can I speak to you? And you're like, shit, that's it. The tap's been cut off. Because it wasn't going to be my dad. My dad no, never had a voice to tell office, anyone. Like, yeah. He had with his pen, like... Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I got killed three times, I think, and then made it back to pay my rent for another year. And so that death point, the new was final. And uh, I think Clive wanted me to ride on his back. Me and Clive wanted to, it to be seen with roller. So I had to fight quite hard for that not to be a scene where I rode on his back. Fortunately, that's like, you know, another moment in the sun. Yeah. So you did have some creative control. A lot, a lot. I think I should have had a writing credit on the show. <laughs> Just, a little bit of extra, uh, Just a little bit of extra cash for that as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Next question, please. Hello, guys. Hi, um, Tasha. <laughs> Hi, Jefferson. Um, it's a little bit of a cheesy question, but um, what advice would you give to your younger self, like 13, 14 years old? I think there's, that's a time when things are weird and not so easy. So what would you tell your younger self? I think I nailed it, but um... <laughs> so humble. I love that though. I'm not sure. Um, I, I know what I would say. You know. That it's not going to go down well. Come on. I would say don't be an actor. Ooh. Yeah. I didn't start till I was 25, so I... 
you couldn't say that to yourself. I couldn't say that to myself, so be an actor. So if you want to speak to your 25 year olds, what would you say? Don't be an actor. <laughs> okay. no. Um, no, I would say like, probably it's a very hard profession. As in, I don't regret any decisions I've made, but I would say think about longevity. Um, I certainly wouldn't let my children do it. Um, but um, I think, ha you know, have confidence in your own ability. I think especially what I was referencing before, which was like um, my dad helping me out, getting the job. I think I had to really prove to myself and to other people that I could do it. So I think always believe in yourself. If you think you can do something, um, quite often you can. And I really do believe that. Um, but I would probably say maybe just choose a more steady career. Maybe. I shaved um, an eyebrow off once, I, I regret. <laughs> and, that. and also, magic mushrooms, there's a cut off point for those guys who wow. shouldn't take too many because there's no coming back from some trips. Um, I, I love that we went from like deep, emotional, transformational, wisdom to. Yeah, magic mushrooms! <laughs> I love that! <laughs> Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Don't yourself. Don't, don't take too much like the yeah. and don't shake your eyebrows. Those are the three lessons. Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Is that the answer you were? Well, yes, it's actually. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Next question, please. Lurking in the shadows. Um, hello. 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 Uh, my question is, what was it like working with digital star stars? Awful. <laughs> that was. Jeez, terrible. Hated everything. Yeah, terrible. Awesome. Awesome. The worst. The worst. It was wonderful. He was incredibly creative from the get-go. He took it. He was really invested, probably the most invested in his character. He was very serious about it. It was a lot of fun, but he was incredibly creative. He came from a background of theatre. He played in Hamburg in um, all of those Swedish places, um, Hague or something. Big capital. Sweden. Stockholm. Not Hope. Sorry, that one. Um, yeah. He was inspiring to be around because he really did the work. We lived together for the first year and you know, this sort of things can't talk about. <laughs> but he, yeah, he was amazing. I didn't work very much with him, <clears throat> um, but he is a lovely guy and um, yeah, that's all. But, I mean, we didn't, I think probably in total we literally did two scenes together and then when Floki disappears and they rediscover him when they're traveling the Americas, that's probably the most I've ever worked with him. Um, but he is lovely and so talented and, and really like takes his work very seriously. Um, and I think when you think of Vikings, a lot of people think of Floki. Like that's what we mean. Or you, obviously you as well. Um, yeah, I remember when I, was, when I was dead after my iconic death. Um, and I was lying being a corpse, which was some of my better work that I've done. But he was so emotional about me leaving the show as an actor and as a human being, as a character. He cried, and I remember looking, sort of being dead, you know, and he was really crying. Oh. I was like, he, he's actually he's he doing this. It. Yeah. it was incredible. That's nice. Yeah. Well, acting. It's well, acting. It's amazing. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next question, please. Hello. Um, if you could be a different character in the show, uh, which one would you be? Oh, me. <laughs> 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 I wish I could return to the <laughs> um, Being honest. Good stuff. Yeah, the flow kit, I think, is the most fun. It seemed to be a lot of fun. With Travis, do you get to have that face? Forever? <laughs> you keep the face, yeah? Yeah. Is that the rule? I can you take it home. Yes, you can take it. I'll be Travis, yeah. You want Travis's face? I'll also about the character. I want Lagatha. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. If I could take the body, though. I'd take, I'd take her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, I think oh. she, um, Lagatha or Gunhild, probably. Like, two like, really fierce, strong women um, with great storylines. Yeah, that'd be my choices, I think. Yeah. Who was um, Ragnar's first daughter? He had two kids, Bjorn and... Ragnar's first daughter. Oh, hey. yeah, the one that died. Yeah. Who was that? Gida. What's her name? Gida. Gida, she was my favourite character. I don't know, I loved Gida. As, as the actor. You know, you like the... No, she's a child. 